any players here represented other outside of 99, so I can't really count you down. So, the first player they actually name here is at number 97, so I guess there are no players active right now with the number 99. I think Jake Crowder was at some point, unless he changed his number. I don't know. But we have here 99, 98, 97 with um, Eugene Amori. Amamor, uh, Amori. I have never heard of this guy before in my life. So are you Thunder fans out there, but hey, you got the highest numbered guy in the entire NBA. Shout out to Eugene. Kind of reminds me of Eugene from uh, Tangled, the movie. Kind of funny. Number 95. I'm sorry. 96. 95. 95. 95. We have a number with Juan Toscano Anderson. I actually don't think this guy is in the NBA anymore, which is kind of funny, but hey, we got Juan Toscano Anderson at number 95. I don't think he's in the NBA, right? I don't think he's active for any team, I think, right? And maybe he is. We'll have to see. Uh, 95, 94, 93, 92, 91. We have a player at 91, and it's in fact kind of sadly, but very surprising. Number 91 is Blake, 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 Blake Griffin. Yes, Blake Griffin, the best player. And number 91, isn't that kind of cool? I don't think he really played kind of at all this year for the Boston Celtics. And honestly, it would be kind of cool to see Blake Griffin get an NBA championship. 91, 90, 89, 88. We have a player at number 88. I think you know how you pronounce it is Goga Bitaste. Bitaste. Something like that. It's Goga. That's it. It kind of goes by his first name. Goga. Goga, Goga. Goga, Goga, Goga. At number 88. If you don't really know a lot about the NBA, kind of a nobody as well. So we're kind of getting not at a good point right now, but it's going to heat up. Just give it a second. Give it a second. Okay. 88. 87. 86. 85, 84, 83, 82, 81, 80. Wow, no 80 numbers, not very popular. 79, 78, 77, 77, 77. If you know anything about basketball, you should guess who is number 77 in the NBA. Who's the best player who has that number? It's in fact Luka, 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 Luka Doncic. Yes, Luka Doncic is probably the best player with the highest number in the NBA at 77. At least that's what it looks like. And wow, yeah, he's definitely gonna make a mark on that number. I can't. I don't know if any NBA player has even had that number before. It looks really dope and clean. I don't really know why he has the number 77, but uh, he owns it. 76, 75. 74, 73, 72, 71, 70, no 70s, I think 70, 70 would be like a cool number to have, right? I don't know. Anyways, 69, which, ha ha, funny number, it's actually banned in the NBA, you can actually not wear the number 69, 68. 67, and we finally have another player at 67 with Taj Gibson from the Washington Wizards. Kind of funny. Good, solid role player, but I guess he is the best player with that number. Okay, 67, 66, which I think would also be kind of a cool number to have. Any double numbers I think look really cool. 88, 77, 66, blah, blah, blah. 65. 
surprised he did the Eastern Conference team. Got knocked out of the first round of the playoffs. It's at number 45, Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell, Donovan Mitchell at number 45, which I wonder what significance that number has. Maybe he was asked at some point in time. I'd actually love to know if you know why these players have these numbers. You can comment them down below. I actually would really, really love to know. Number 44, we have another player. A couple of honorable mentions of Davis Bertans and Patrick Williams. But number 44, we have Bojan Bogdanovic. Bojan Bogdanovic. Bogdanovic. Number 44, Deidre Pistons. Pretty solid NBA forward. Really wish he would get out of Detroit, though. Doesn't I don't think he really wants to be there either, but man, Bo, Bojan on a, on a contender, on a really good team, he could really elevate himself, and really any team in the NBA could use a player like him. Number 43, we have a player here with some honorable mentions of Justin Jackson and Theonis Antetokounmpo, Giannis' brother. 43, we have Pascal, 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 Siakam, Pascal, Siakam, Pascal, Siakam at 43. Really, really good year uh, as a solo player from Pascal Siakam. Will he finally get traded away this year? Will the Toronto Raptors start the rebuild? <sighs> I have no idea. We'll have to wait and see. Number 42. 42, 42, 42, 42. We have Al Orford. Al Orford of the Boston Celtics. Number 41. We have, ooh, they have here. Kelly Olenek, Kelly Olenek, but I will throw this in an argument. Sadiq Bey, also at least the start of this article or the start of the NBA season, war number 41. Sadiq Bey, Kelly Olenek, you can kind of have your choice, but number 41, they have listed Kelly Olenek. Number 40, number 40, number 40. I'm actually going to use the honorable mention because I think this guy's actually a little bit underrated. He's a little bit older. But Harrison Barnes, I'll say, is probably the best player with the number 40, at least that, that I know of. They have listed uh, Zubak. Zubak. Zoo. Big Zoo. From the LA Clippers, but I think Harrison Barnes should be up there. 39. 38. 37. We have a player with Matt Ryan, which I think he plays for the Memphis Grizzlies now. I don't think he plays for the LA Lakers anymore. <sighs> I know he hit a game winner for the LA Lakers one time, but he got eliminated by the team he used to be a part of. Then we have number 36. Number 36, 36. With Marcus Smart. Ooh, man. Now that's a good player. Okay, so that was number 36. 36. Number 35, they have here listed Christian Wood because this was before the Kevin Durant trade. Katie used to wear number 7. Now he wears number 35. So right now, it is Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant of the Phoenix Suns. Kind of an easy one for sure, for sure. You have number 34, another really good player, arguably the best player in the NBA. Could definitely be a different opinion now that he's out of the playoffs in the first round. Giannis Antetokounmpo, 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 Giannis, Giannis Antetokounmpo, number 34. Yeah, I would say so. 34. Number 33, 33, with honorable mentions of Gary Trent Jr. and Miles Turner. They have Kyle Kuzma at 33. Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma, 33, also kind of a popular number, at least I would think so, but Kyle Kuzma owns the reins to that number, kind of interesting, he did have a pretty good year this year, and man, maybe kind of a building block for the success of the future of that Wizards team, we have number 32 with Carl Anthony Towns, cat, big cat, big cat, Carl Anthony Towns, is he going to be on the move this year? Will they trade Carl Anthony Towns finally? I've been hearing rumors about the New York Knicks after this season's done and over with. Number 31, we have Jarrett Allen. We have a lot of big men, big guys down there. Number 31, number 31. Number 30, can you 
his best season? Maybe. Was he better than any of the other MVP candidates? Maybe. But was it the right time to give it to someone else? And is Joel Embiid probably deserving? Yes. <laughs> number 20. Number 20. You have John Collins, which not really a player you really want to think about as the best at their position, or sorry, the best at their number. At number 20, John Collins, who's probably going to get traded at the, the start of the next season. Um, number 19, you have uh, Ryu, 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 I think you pronounce right, Neto, 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 of the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Cleveland Cavaliers bench is so bad, but hey, shout out to Neto at number 19. Number 18, mention of Shake Milton, which you might prefer, but they have listed here Utah, 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 Watanabe, 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 Utah, Watanabe of the Brooklyn Nets. Number 17, number 17, we have here, um, Jonas Valanciunas, Jonas, Jonas Valanciunas, Jonas Valanciunas. You do have some honorable mentions, though, of, um, Onyeke Okongu, P.J. Tucker, which are players I guess you can kind of argue, but uh, you also have your boy, one of my favorite players, rookie, Shaden Sharp, Shaden Sharp, Shaden Sharp at number 17, number 16, we have um, Caleb Martin of the Mind Heat, shout out to Caleb Martin, another good solid role player, number 15, we have the newly dethroned MVP in Nikola Jokic, Nikola He's probably going to be the best player ever with that number 15. I can't even think about any other players with the number 15 in NBA's history, but man, Jokic is amazing. A basketball savant. Number 14, we have Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram, B.I., one of my favorite sort of like under the radar type of NBA players. Um, Man, he is good. He is really good. Uh, they also had Tyler Hero here as an honorable mention, which hopefully he comes back nice and healthy from that uh, broken hand that he got in the NBA playoffs, but Brandon Ingram as just a pure scorer is, is one of the best and multi-level scorers um, in the entire NBA. We have number 13 with, um, wow, actually a couple good players with Bam at a bio. You have the, so far right now, the newly crowned Defensive Player of the Year, Jaron Jackson Jr., but they actually have listed here Paul George, Mr. PG-13 himself. I mean, I guess at full strength, Paul George is the best player with that number, but man, Bam and Jaron. Now, that's kind of a good argument, obviously. Jaron having a good team success year. I mean, I know, I know Bam and Abayo is kind of on a, a little bit of a downer recently and hasn't really been the same really since 2020 in the bubble run that they had with the Miami Heat. But PG-13, when he's fully healthy, is really good. So I guess we got to take him as everyone's fully healthy. So PG-13. Number 12, you have Ja Morant. Ja Morant. Ja Morant at number 12. You know, an up and down year, definitely. More downs and ups. Yeah, I don't know, man. Ooh, some good names, some good names with Damar DeRozan, Kyrie Irving, and Trey Young. They have here listed Trey Young. Oh, I think also Jalen Brunson wears number 11. Maybe you can argue him. Is Trey Young the best player with the number 11 with having Kyrie there? I mean, with this year and how it went, ooh, you could definitely argue. I would probably say, I would probably say Kyrie Irving. Like, I would probably take Kyrie Irving in a game. Obviously, if I was, like, rebuilding a team, I would take Trey Young. But if I just, you know, I'm thinking about the best player, I would probably take Kyrie. Number 10, they have listed Darius Garland. But I'm going to say DeMontis Sabonis, even though DeMontis Sabonis had a very stinker of a playoff run. Definitely did not help uh, pretty much the Sacramento Kings at all throughout this series. Um, neither really did Darius Garland either. I really like DeMontis Sabonis, so maybe I'm just picking my favorite player, but I really like DeMontis, DeMontis, DeMontis Sabonis there at number 10. Number 9, you have a Jeremy Grant of the Portland Trailblazers. Pretty solid.
solid all-around guy, kind of does a little bit of everything. Number eight, you have Zach Levine. I'm actually also kind of surprised a lot of players don't have the number eight, number, number, number eight, kind of a popular number, but it goes to Zach, and um, as a scorer, he's one of the best. Number seven, number seven, used to be a guy by the name of Kevin Durant, now recently changed his name back to number 35. So right now, a player who wears number seven is Jalen Brown. Jalen, Jalen, Jalen Brown at number seven. Number seven, number seven. What a player he is. Some people think he can be the best player on a team. Maybe he can, but man, as a duo with Jason Tatum, boy, are they a problem. Really like Jalen Brown. My favorite um, guard slash wing in the NBA, I think. Number six. Boy, do we have number six pretty much logged in with Mr. Le Goat, Le GM, Le Cry Baby, Le Mickey. We have LeBron James at number six. Um, man, great player. What else can I say? He's just absolutely insane of a player. Also, players with these numbers are Kristaps Porzingis and Alex Caruso. Now, I do know they retired the number six because of Bill Russell's passing, kind of like with um, Jackie Robinson in the baseball, no one can wear the number 42, but I guess if you had the number before that, you can still keep it. I don't know if anyone still does have it, but LeBron still wears the number six. Number five, we have De'Aaron Fox at number five, also with there being a DeJounte Murray. Loved what De'Aaron did this year. Hopefully him and DeMondis in the Kings can just build off of this year. Number four, you have Evan Mobley, a defensive phenom for sure. Only going to continue to grow his game and going to be basically the prototypical big of the NBA's future and uh, I really love watching him play. Number three, they actually have listed here Chris Paul. That's wrong. It's Anthony Davis. Don't even. Do not even. I'm um, fadeawayworld.net. Anthony Davis is the best player when fully healthy. At number three, he's a top 10 player in the NBA when fully healthy. He might even be top five. He might even be an MVP candidate if he could just stay <sighs> healthy. What a player. 80 is. He can do it all. He can literally do it all. Uh, player at number two, SGA Shea Gilgis Alexander with honorable mentions of Kawhi Leonard. Wow. Man, and you know what? I do even think right now, if Kawhi was fully healthy, I still think SGA would be a better just all-around basketball player than Kawhi. I think Kawhi just isn't a number one option guy anymore. I just don't think he can be. Can the Clippers next year win the title with a fully healthy team? Yes, because their duo and their depth is super good. But just Kawhi on his own, I don't think you could ever really have like a, a Toronto Raptors Kawhi Leonard title run ever again. I really actually like the pick of Shea there at number two. Number one, with honorable mentions of James Harden, Zion, Anthony Edwards, LaMelo Ball, is Devin Booker at number one. Wow. Devin Booker over Anthony Edwards. Yeah, and Harden though, that's an argument to be had. I think Harden has definitely just taken a big step back just to let Joel Embiid really flourish as the guy in Philly, which he definitely 100% should be, but as we've seen before in the past, he can go back to being that very dominant number one player, but Devin Booker probably is the best player right now at number one, and number zero, <sighs> honorable mentions of Dame and Tyrese Maxey, Tyrese Halliburton, used to be Russell Westbrook, <laughs> but uh, yeah, Jason Tatum, and I will accept that as a Damian Lillard fan. I think Jason Tatum definitely is the best player who wears number zero right now. Um, Two-way player, MVP caliber, best player on a title contending team. Can even win it all this year. But, uh, man, he's really good. Damian Lillard, though, would like to have a talk. But, uh, oh wait, there is one more number. Double zero, number double zero, zero, zero. Um, honorable mentions of Benedict Matherin. <laughs> Jonathan Kuminga, we have Jordan Clarkson, best player, worst number, double zero, kind of cool, yes guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little 